just made an appointment with the barbershop for the first time. Um, or with a barbershop. And I'm actually pretty nervous to go there. It's not that my previous hairdresser wasn't okay, but it's just, I'm... It's, I don't know, it, it's something that I wanted to do my whole life. I wanted to go to the barber shop because it's, it's just a thing, I guess. I don't know if more trans men have that feeling of going to or really wanting to go to the barber. But now that I made an appointment, I'm actually a little bit nervous because am I being seen as, am I really being perceived as men at the moment? And most of the time I really, I, I am or but I am whore. <laughs> but it's just, mm, sometimes in a rare occasion, I'm being misgendered, but it's it hasn't happened, especially since my voice dropped. Like last week, my voice like cracked over a thousand times, I guess. And I believe it's really starting to to get lower now, so. Even on the phone, I people are like, sir, and so it's it's definitely um, yeah. I don't know, but it, it's this yeah. I'm I'm a little bit nervous. I have the appointment in one and a half hours, so I hope they can make something with my hair already because it's been three weeks ago that I went for the last time. But I feel like it just doesn't have any shape at the moment, so I'm kind of it's it's funny that I'm kind of nervous for this. <laughs> What is wrong with you, little girl? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Hmm? What is wrong with you? Why are you so sad and grumpy? Hmm? And why aren't you looking at me? Look at me. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Hey, can I get a kiss? Can I get a kiss? Oh, okay. I was trying to talk. But someone outside is doing stuff. Yeah. She wants to talk as well. What do you want to say to the people out there? What do you want to say? Mm. Tough times. Absolutely. I'm back from the barbershop and it was a very pleasant experience. It was a very nice dude. I went to Studio Headlines in Assen. It's in my city, in the city where I live. And I felt a bit awkward in the beginning, but was completely fine. And it was a very professional dude, very relaxed. And um, yeah, I'm actually quite happy with my hair. And um, I'm gonna close the door and I'm gonna stop my watch. <laughs> I'm getting distracted here. One moment. So, very nice experience. And I also got some stuff for my hair. It was uh, two for the price for one... No, it was th three for the price of two. So I got these nice, um, I don't know, stuff for my hair. The, the matte, the shine and the high shine. So depending on my mood, I can um, be a shiny or not. <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, I don't I believe I now have the shine in my hair. I'm not sure what the substance is. It smells good. It smells very good. Amuri first class barber shine. And this is the matte, which is I believe more of a paste. Yeah, it's also it's more of a paste. It's also pretty nice. It smells very very nice. And this is the high shine. 
Ooh, that's more of a, uh, I don't know what it smells like, but it's pretty nice. And I just read that, please return the aluminium cover so that it can be recycled. You will get 50 euros sent back and all proceeds will be donated to charity. This way we can help the climate while helping people in need. That's nice. That's very nice. So Amuri and it's from a, yeah, I believe it's a product you can only buy at a barbershop, but I don't know that for sure because I'm not an expert or anything. I just buy what the barber tells me to buy, so I got this. Pretty nice. And I'm very happy. It's it's a bit shorter than than I than I'm used to. I'm not looking in the camera because I'm looking at the screen right now, but it's it's just, it's, it's very nice. I don't know why it's such a great experience, but as a trans man, going to a barbershop is just something. It's, I don't know, it feels good. Although I had vacation, I've had a really tough week with um, just recovering and not being able to do a lot of things. And also my mind, uh, when I can't really sport, my mind goes to places I don't want it to go. Um, because I'm sometimes still struggling with some mental issues and anxiety, but that is, um, that's something I'm working on. And I believe, at least for me, having a good haircut really helps with um, my, yeah, I don't know, with my well-being for some reason. And it just feels good to have a nice haircut. So yeah. Another thing what I've been doing to get my mind off of things is walking a lot. And I've walked, I think, about 100 kilometers last week. And that's been really um, just relieving. I have an app called uh, Conqueror. And I don't know if you know the app, but it's basically an app that tracks the distance you walk or bike or anything. You can do anything as long as it's moving. And you can join it a real life challenge a real life route, for example, the Kilimanjaro or the flower route in the Netherlands. And you can walk them virtually. So you're walking the distance and when you complete that distance, you'll get a medal. And I am walking to Mordor at the moment. They have a larger challenge, which is walking to Mordor, which basically contains five challenges, I guess. And the first challenge is the walk of the Shire. Then you go to Rivendell and then you go to the mines of Moria and the Black Gate, and then you'll walk to Mordor. And you have to complete the first one to be able to continue to the other one. And it's a total of 1,061 kilometers, and I am trying to walk this this year. And I mainly focus on walking or running, but not biking or anything. And I've completed 100K now, so it's been less than 100K last week. I completed 100 kilometers and for the Shire, I have 133.6 remaining. And I set a goal to do that in, I don't know, eight weeks, something like that. And it's a very cool app. Um, you, you, get, you get to see the route um, you're walking. So I have basically the map of the Lord of the Rings here. And I can see where I'm walking. It's also pretty nice because every challenge you walk you'll donate a tree of something like that and it's just really something to get me motivated to walk it's very extrinsic but that's fine <laughs> it's just very, it's just a lot of fun and you also get stories like for example now I, I walked a couple of miles a couple of kilometers and i get a story i have three stories actually so that's pretty fun i'm not sure if it's fucking Focusing, yeah. You'll basically run through the whole Lord of the Rings movies, I think. I'll, I'll put a link down below. It's an affiliate link, but it's not... You'll get a discount, but you'll not get a discount for the Lord of the Rings challenge for some reason. But you'll get a discount for other challenges. And also, if you join a challenge not being the Lord of the Rings challenge, I'll get some percentage of that. I don't know exactly. It's just a link and um, if you want to know more about it, click the link and you'll be able to join the challenge or just check out the app and um, see if it's something for you because it does cost a little bit of money. I'm gonna sit outside for a bit because it's the weather is nice and I just did my garden. You know what, what the most fun thing for me at the moment is? Um, because normally when I had a haircut, I needed to change my binder or my vest in the last six weeks and the last three years my binder because all the hairs would get stuck in my binder. And you know, I can now just do this and just get another t-shirt and not having to put out a binder. So very happy with that. Yeah. Also, 
first couple of days without a binder, without a vest. And I'm absolutely rocking this shirt. You might wonder why I didn't film at the barbershop. That was mainly because I don't feel comfortable filming in public and especially not in places where I haven't been before. So it's, I think it's something of a new vlogger, new YouTuber that is, it's some kind of, I don't know. It's not something I do at the moment. So, hey, you'll have to deal with my face for now. So maybe, maybe in the future I'll film more. We'll see. Quick enough to make sure it didn't spread. <laughs> 